Welcome to I Love Stocks. Passionate about trading and your financial success. Also, please subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button. And we do have like a little Twitter page here. If you follow us on there, Miss Vegas is posting alerts on that Twitter page on a daily basis. And we do have our other stock twits, our Pinterest, and our YouTube channel. You can always go to ilovestocks.com. Hit that YouTube channel and it'll bring up our YouTube page on YouTube and you can follow some of the videos that we do on there. But today I want to talk about the SPY. So let's, whoop, not the wrong chart. Let's pull up the SPY here. This is a three-year chart and I'm going to try to look for an equilibrium or a pivot point on this three-year chart. You definitely see that we did hit three-year lows on it and we have had a retracement bounce to almost that 50%, right to that 50% mark on the three-year Fibonacci layout. So let's pull ahead and try to find an equilibrium here, a pivot point, and I think we're right, whoop, wrong one. Gotta change this to the dollar sign, and we're gonna put it right there. And extend that on out with the left extension on. And that's gonna kinda be our little pivot point on that three-year chart. We did pull back to the three-year lows, and this will probably go back even farther than that. And we did have a 50% retracement on that three-year chart. So we're going to pull up the yearly now and take a good look at the yearly. Yearly daily is what I first look at when I'm looking at it. I've, when we've had this sell-off, I've pulled the chart back to 20 years and looked at them to try to find supports. Because I figured once we hit down to 20,000 on the Dow, and anything below that was going to be a strong buy. We did hit 18 something, and I had a 15,000 for the worst case scenario. So right now we're at 275.37. That's kind of the leak. We see we did touch that right here. Had a little doji right there on that, right here, that little red doji, and she bounced on up, up on off that before. So we're going to go back to the three year, and I'm going to magnify this up a little bit. First, I want to try to get me a trend line that can go up here and match these lines. So I'm going to go to the 20 day. And I'm going to draw me a little trend line from this low that we had here at 217.75 and bring it on all the way up to where I think the trend is. And we'll go right here. In fact, I think I'll go back to that yearly. It's probably a better presentation of what I'm looking for. We'll magnify this up. And this is on a weekly. And we'll just whoop, we'll change this. We're going to draw a trend line right there. And then we're going to extend this on out. So that's going to be like our little support area if we do pull back to that low. Now we did have a triple bottom right down here, so I'm going to go ahead and extend that on out too with that triple bottom. And that's going to be kind of looks to me like we did have some higher lows and that's why we had that big breakout. But for right now, we'll just put this triple bottom in right here. And that's going to be a strong support if it does that's going to be a counting factor i don't want to see it go any lower than that 243.81 but i don't see it pulling back that much but what i do see is maybe hitting these bars right in here so i'm going to go ahead and draw me another trend line right here and that 261.30 is going to be a solid support now my next thing i want to do is do a fibonacci setup on that 20-day chart where we had the lows and the highs. And we're going to take and go to the Fibonacci retracement. We're going to hit this high right here and bring it on down to the bottom here at 217.75. Okay, now, so I know, I do know that I'd like to see it pull back to this area right in here, right around the 262. 
where we had these double tops right here. So I'm going to draw me another trend line right in here. And we're going to put it right, well, I'd say probably right about in, right about there. And then off of that, I'm going to draw me a little window in here. And that's going to be my first, my low support area where I think we can pull back to. As you see, this trend line will keep rising up throughout the week. And it'll go higher and higher and higher. So I'm thinking by next Friday, we should hit this area right in here between that 261.30 and that 263.46. Now, I'm not 100% right all the time. Nobody is. But this is the way I feel into earnings, that how the algorithms are going to play off that earnings. I don't think the market really is going to care about any forecast or any earnings, just like they didn't kind of care about the unemployment numbers, because it did bounce off, off them real horrible unemployment numbers. So we're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and bring this up to right about here. And I'm going to draw me a little support window from that to that. That's going to be where I think the pullback is going to be. The first pullback is going to be right in here. That first support at 275.37. The second one is going to be this retracement on the Fibonacci right here at 267.58. And then we're going to have that lower support level, which I'm going to probably play my option on right around the 261.30 to the 263.46. And I think that's where we're going to pull back to, and that'll create a higher low, and that's what I want to see. And then that means we're still in the bull market. We're still, but we're going to, I still think we're going to pull back to this area right in here. So keep that in mind, at 261.30, 263.46 sometime this week. And I think that's it for the spy. I wish everybody, oh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the option right now, being as I'm here. And I've got it set up for the April 17th. And I'm talking about that 263, 260, right, well, maybe somewhere between these right here. I like that 265. And that's probably where I'll go ahead and take it. I'll take it to that 265, and right now I think the uh, SPY is at 279. So that's going to be my, my call that I'm going to make April 17th, 2020. i looking at the volume. It had around 40,000 on it, and, I sh and I'm pretty sure that people were buying the puts on this thing, and I can figure that out real fast too. Let me go over here and look at my other... Yeah, the put value, put ratio was definitely above at 4.385 compared to the call value that we had at 2876 on Friday. And these are in millions. And I'll pull this right over here and let you look at it. We had the put ratio at 4.385 and then we had the, um, the, the uh, call ratio at 2876. And these are in the millions right here. So I'm thinking that's going to be what I'm going to be playing for next week, all week long. And who knows, you know, we might get a dip on it first thing and this option value might get a little bit higher. So I might pull it back to that 263 level too and check that one out. So those are going to be my two options that I'm going to be looking at come Monday morning. And just want to let everybody know, hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell. And we wish everybody a great trading week next week. I love stocks.